Hello everyone, today I'm so excited because we will be unboxing the Smith & Wesson MNP Shield Chambered in 40. If you're new to the channel, you're watching the Apolakai Armory and make sure to click that subscribe button so you won't miss new video updates. I am a retired military combat vet who enjoys uh, shooting firearms in the gun range for review, information, and entertainment. Well, let's check out what we have in this box. Well, last time we had the opportunity to uh, present out the uh, Smith & Wesson MNP 45 Gen 1 and we also had uh, an opportunity to uh, get it on the range and uh, shoot. But in today's video, we will be unboxing the uh, MNP shield that is chambered in 40 cal. Well, uh, many people I know have purchased one of this uh, short barreled handgun and of course, if you have one of this, well, I am assuming that uh, you probably are going to use it for concealed carry or uh, maybe for your backup uh, firearm. Alright, well, lately uh, I've noticed that uh, most firearms these days are packed in a motivating, wonderful uh, cardboard boxes. Yes, right there. Well, as you can see, uh, Smith & Wesson is no different. They uh, ship this uh, pistol in a black uh, cardboard box and I would say that this is probably part of their budget plans to save money. And also it appears that you know long gone all the days when firearms are packed or shipped in a nice plastic carrying cases. Well anyways uh, let's, uh, let's check what's, uh, what's inside this box. Open up the box. Oh, awesome. Wow. Well, what we have here is uh, the pistol itself wrapped in a plastic. We will check that out in a minute. We have some reading materials also that are included as well. Um, we see that a registration card is included, noting that if you register the firearm in the Smith & Wesson website, you will have the product protection uh, proof of ownership and also uh, some special offers for new products that they uh, sell online. Uh, it also comes with California firearm warning information right there. Well, oh, by the way, uh, this handgun is uh, California compliant, guys. All right, what else we have? We also have the safety and instructions manual. Well, I would say that read this manual to uh, familiarize yourself with a pistol, you know. Although you are probably uh, familiar with pistols already, well, it doesn't hurt to... Uh, read the manual a couple of times oh it's good to go uh, also what else do we have we have here well the Smith & Wesson also included two magazines and and of course looks like they also included uh, well, a very inexpensive block but well it's better to have one than nothing right <laughs> Alright, uh, let's take out the pistol from the plastic wrap. Alright, wow, nice, awesome. Well, let's take out the shipping plug real quick. Wow, this gun is great, guys. Well, uh, before we go further, let's make sure that the gun is clear, although I know that I already take out the shipping plug. Let's lock the slide to the rear. Let's check the chamber. The chamber is empty. No magazine inserted. The bolt face is clear. Well, the gun is clear, guys. The gun is clear. Um, well, folks, uh, 
Wow, this is great. This is the MMP Shield 40. Here, here, uh, right here, uh, we have the manual thumb safety lever. We also have the slide lock and the takedown lever also over here. Here we have also the uh, loaded chamber indicator uh, right down here. For this pistol to be California compliant, here they added a uh, they added a loaded chamber indicator. Well, this this lever right here will lift up so you can see when there is a round in the chamber. Well, it appears that California want to dummy proof this <laughs> to dummy proof <laughs> dummy proof this pistol. California don't just want you to see if when there is round in the chamber, uh, when this thing is is uh, is tilted up, they also want you to feel it, you know, and also, of course, right there, they also want you to read it. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is great. Well, also we have we have the magazine release button right down here. Oh. Uh, it's pretty good, you know, it's, if you can see, it's, it's, it's really flush right down here. Well, let's slide, let's, uh, uh, let's lock the, uh, let's lock the slide back to the rear. Well, as you look through the ejection port, we could see that this pistol has a small lever mechanism right inside there. Well, meaning this pistol is equipped with magazine disconnect. Um, well, that magazine disconnect safety, then, yeah? That, that lever you see uh, prevents the pistol from firing when the magazine is removed from the pistol. Well, additionally, the uh, Moses Smith & Wesson pistol are equipped with a trigger safety system that prevents the pistol from discharging unless the trigger is fully depressed you know this is the one that I'm talking about right down here right here this is the secondary safety for the trigger uh, as you can see the gun the gun also have a pretty uh, a pretty decent uh, bright three dot white sight which is easy to pick up when aiming at your target and uh, you know it also have uh it's also have that extractor right down there that external extractor um this gun has no slide serration in the front but it does have one in the rear right here uh the rear serrations it's not that bad you know the serrations uh, design the serration design is pretty decent also you probably notice that the barrel is tilted up when the uh, when the slide is locked to the rear this is a this is a normal thing uh, the pistol is not broken or anything it's it's just the way it was designed the uh, barrel uh, tilt like that so the chamber the chamber right there will low down to pick up around when it's fed all right all right guys uh, let's check the magazines right down here well, mag uh, this came with two magazines. Uh, this pistol ships with two magazines. The magazine with uh, the magazine with the flush fit floor plate holds six rounds, and the magazine with uh, extended uh, floor plate holds seven rounds. All right. The magazine tubes, the magazine tubes are the same for both. Uh, shows how fully loaded magazine will appear on each right there those are the magazine tubes uh, the the grip with this gun is is good to go uh, I feel I, I like it the way it feels in my firing hand uh, the texturing here feels very nice and of course well you can also upgrade your grip based on your personal preference well, guys, we will bring this pistol in the gun range and see if it's a reliable gun. So uh, stand by for that uh, video, all right? Well, folks, this is the MMP uh, Shield Chambered in 40. That is our up-close look 
for this gun and uh, well it's nice and I know that uh, Smith and Wesson makes uh, good quality uh, pistols well folks uh, thank you for watching and once again this is Apolakai Armory saying always follow all the weapon and range safety rules and keep hitting the X-ring well simple pie lagging tapat at mabuhay po tayong lahat We'll see you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.